Hi there traders, this is the sixth video of the spot trading course on Binance by the trading terminal Syscalp. In this video we will show you how to download Syscalp and install the terminal to make your uh, trades through the Syscalp on Binance. We will dismantle the Syscalp interface and figure out the basic functions. I will show you how to set a market order and limit order to sell and buy cryptocurrency. In the previous video, we talked about different styles of trading from scalping to investing and described pros and cons of each style of trading. If you missed the previous video, I really recommend you to watch it now. The link you will find under this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we go on. Before downloading Syscalp, we'll tell you the main things about the terminal. This scalp is professional software for trading cryptocurrency, futures and stocks. Uh, the terminal was created for active traders. It's mainly used by scalpers and day traders. But in theory, it can also be suitable for implementing other trading strategies. The goal of Syscalp is to create conditions for the most comfortable and fast trading. Syscalp is designed in uh, such a way to minimize the number of clicks between deciding on a trade and submitting an order. Syscalp can be flexibly customized personally in a couple of clicks. Even more, Syscalp works with different exchanges, including Binance, Bybit, OKX, Huobi, uh, and other cryptocurrency exchanges. In the Syscalp, you can connect to several exchanges at once, arrange connections in different tabs, or in one tab, quickly switching between them and trade simultaneously more than 40 different instruments. Syscalp is a free trading terminal. You can download the Syscalp license from the official website. You don't need to register for this. We go to the official Syscalp website. The link you will find in the description and leave your email in the download form and click download for free. And email will be sent to you with the installation file and the license key. Then you will be redirected to the page with a step-by-step -step instruction. We see that the letter has arrived in the mail. If there is no letter, go to the spam section. For technical reasons, the letter may end up in this tab. Don't be scared, unblock the letter and download a syscalp. Please be sure that here attached you will find a license file. So you download the syscalp, open the launcher and follow all the steps. The process is quite intuitive. Create a desktop shortcut and then we go to the process of installation that will take several seconds. Then you agree with the conditions and finish the process. Then when we launch, here we see the access to different uh, useful sources like Telegram channel, YouTube and uh, Traders Diaries. We launch uh, the Syscalp and here you should stipulate the way to the license key, the license file. As you remember, we download it from uh, the file sent to our email and insert it here. You will set your own PIN code for entry and here we open a Syscalp interface. This is the interface of Syscalp terminal. To start trading on Binance, we need to connect the terminal to the exchange. You will need to create API keys. We go to Binance and in the section API management here, you will need your IP address. You can just Google my IP and got it instantly. To create the API keys, we do the following. We uh, click create API, the system generated one. We name it, next. We should complete all the following verifications to continue. So now we have our API key and secret key. We don't share them with anyone. One connection, one keychain. We don't include more permissions than we need. These permissions you will need to trade on the Binance spot market. We click Edit Restrictions. We will click here Restrict Access to Trusted IP. We insert our IP just uh, through Googling it in the Google. And then we can 
uh, make the restrictions. We permit enable uh, spot and margin trading, and it's uh, quite important that after creation, API keys need to be copied. The secret key will be displayed once. You should save the keys in a document. The keys, in fact, can always be deleted and uh, recreated. Links to the instruction for creating API keys on Binance will be in the description under this video if you have any questions. So we copy it to the document, we save uh, both keys and hide somewhere in a safe place. We go through the security verification again. The API keys have been created. We return to the syscap, open settings, select connections, then Binance spot section settings and here we should enter the api keys and check the following boxes the api key and the secret key that we just created then we click to save password auto connect and use proxy and choose uh, the one you need if you have a bad connection then we close and click here to plug in button this area will turn green done Syscalp is connected to the Binance spot market. We turn off the view mode uh, that will allow us to trade spot market. Now let's look how to select a trading instrument in Syscalp, the main elements of the Syscalp interface, order book, tape and clusters. Let's add an order book. We select spot. And for example, let it be Atom USDT. We just uh, have chosen the spot instrument Atom USDT. Here we have uh, the order book itself, the tape, and the clusters. Here we can add uh, a chart and uh, we can place it as we wish using the docking tool. I prefer placing uh, the chart like this to have it on the left uh, part of my working space and other uh, analytical instruments on the right side. But you can do it as you wish, like this. You can place it here or you can place it anywhere. As you see, the main working elements, the main analytical elements are divided into four parts. Uh, the order book itself that every trader should have a good sense of, the tape where we see the activity of the instrument and uh, the current uh, purchases and sales of the instrument. The green ones imply purchases and the red one implies uh, the sales. The order book uh, includes two zones, the seller zone and the buyer zone, with the limit orders placed in both sides. It's quite simple. And finally, the history of market orders, so-called clusters, where we see the registered amount of the orders that have been made just uh, here and right now. Every column corresponds to five minutes time frame, or we can change it to any other time frame, but by default, five minutes is quite convenient. Now let's move to uh, choosing the working volume. The working volume is displayed here in number of lots. We can set it up uh, through uh, calculating in dollars. For example, we would like to open a trade for $100. And here we click uh, input in dollars, enter to assign, and we hear 13.91 lots that in fact corresponds to $100. If we multiply this number by current price, we will get $100. I think it's clear. Or let's switch to uh, $10, for example. It will correspond to 1.39 uh, lots. Uh, to open a position for ten dollars. Now let's try to open the trade through market order and through limit order. And uh, please remember the very important thing that uh, to make a trade through the syscalp, you should have uh, funds uh, in the corresponding wallet uh, in the Binance. In our case, uh, we should have uh, more than five or ten dollars on a spot wallet just to make sure that you have sufficient funds and let's make uh, several trades for example uh, our first trade will be purchase by the market right here and right now we should uh, select the working volume the volume that we want to open a trade with to open a long position by the market right here and right now we 
select the working volume, for example, uh, and click a left mouse button on the red side. We just open the trade by the market by the current price. To close, to close this trade by the market, we should click right mouse button on the green side. We just closed the deal. It's quite simple. And now uh, let's figure out how to place the limit orders. It's even more clear and easy. For example, we are expecting the price to go to uh, the price level 6.804 uh, from where they will be pulled back and uh, the instrument will continue to grow. We place the limit order here uh, using our working volume 1.38 clicking the left mouse button on the green side, on the buyer's side, and we see here that our limit order is placed. As soon as the price reaches this limit order, the trade will be open. And let's imagine our trade is already open. Uh, we have an open position. We have uh, the instrument purchased in our uh, portfolio. And we would like to sell this uh, instrument for the amount of uh, 1.38 lots uh, on this price. And we place the limit order for sale, expecting the price to come to this limit order. And here we would like to sell our instrument with a profit. We click right mouse button, selecting the working volume here on the red side. The principle is really, really clear. You can also divide your working volume uh, by several parts and fix uh, by small parts. It's quite simple. You can also close all the trades and all the limit orders by pressing D with your mouse on the uh, order book. We closed all the trades. Another quite important element that we can uh, draw any lines, any analytical elements just on the chart using different tools, for example, levels that are synchronizing with order book. For example, you uh, build a level on this price and it's uh, synchronizing with the order book, the same level we see here. It's extremely, extremely convenient. For example, we're expecting the breakout of this level, as you see, and uh, we need to be aware in advance we can uh, place the alarm level here and when you hear this alarm, we can uh, switch to our monitor or go to sit in front of the computer and don't waste a lot of time sitting in front of the monitor waiting for the price to come to the desired area. We click K plus left mouse button, placing these uh, alarm levels. It works like this. Let's conclude. Today we figured out how to download and install the SysCap trading terminal. We created AP keys to which we connected uh, the SysCap to the exchange on the example of Binance. And we dismantled uh, the core interface of the SysCap. We discussed uh, the main uh, analytical elements of the trading terminal. And now you know how to make the trades using both limit orders and market orders. I really recommend you to watch the full video about the settings of the SysCap that will be available by the link under this video. If you have some questions, be sure to write them in the comments below. In the next video, we'll talk about the risk management and figure out how to analyze your trades. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.